Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. This is also going to be The Microdose, which is a weekly publication I do to take a look at what went on in the markets over the past week in the micros. So for those of you that are new to this, the blue lines up here are target one, target two, resistance points. These green lines here are target one to the short side, target two to the short side, support levels. The key here is that it's not about this exact number. We don't necessarily care about that. It's just an area of interest. So I do like to use these as targets for myself. That's how I do them. So this does not need to change because that's going to be our next target here. If this continues to go higher, that is this recent high there. And we can just flip flop this to be target one now here closest to the price action if it turns itself back around starts going lower but it's looking strong my friends so that is the micro dow let's talk about the micro s p which is just hitting new highs for these micro charts they are very very similar to the mini the e-minis so you can use the same targets, whether you're trading small on the micro or trading big on the e-mini contracts. Next up on the S&P, we have 5169. Obviously, we already took out this target. So congrats to all of you who are long on that one. Let us raise this up. Let's see, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 220. That's about what I want. Reason being is that the ATR is just about 50. So that'll be a great next second target. First one is here. Second one is here. We can flip flop these just like I did on the Dow. So again, that is the micro S&P. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ also hitting all time crazy highs. <laughs> uh, next target up 18405 almost got there today. Didn't quite, quite make it, but that I imagine would be coming fairly soon. The ATR on that one is 275, but I usually go a bit less than that just, you know, to make it, to stay, stay a little safe. So we'll go about 200 more than this first target. 18.405 followed by 18.605. And this one, we can just flip flop these again. So that is good for the micro NASDAQ. The M2K, this is the micro Russell. I was trading the Russell earlier today and it was giving me nothing but problems even though it had a fairly up day. This one, let's go for this high of basically yesterday. Almost hit that again today, just fell short. And then this one from back here. So 2083 followed by 2095. We'll do this flip flop thing again. I like this too when this creates a little bit of a shelf. And I don't like this. I don't know why that's there. Let's put this down there. We will call that good. Okay. Micro Bitcoin. This thing has just been on fire. We, we flew past our targets here from last week, Friday. I only update these charts once a week. So that was a week ago. Let's see what we've got. Okay. If we are here right now, well, obviously the next first target is going to be recent high from a couple of days ago, followed by there from here. So 71, dang, followed by these highs, about 73.9, getting up there. And let me open this back up so we can see the lower side. All right, we'll call that good for the micro Bitcoin. Just looking solid though. Same with ETH. This one is micro ETH. Let's see what we've got from the past. Where are we right now? So we'll do the same thing. We'll take the recent highs, 3564-ish, followed by way up top here, 
about 3748. And what we will do here is just flip flop those and use those targets should it turn itself around and you want to short it. Now for these micro yield products, they're monthly contracts, so they don't give us enough information. So what I usually do, and by information, I mean like cloud indicators. Interesting. Okay. The 10 year finally <laughs> got itself out of this little consolidation, did flip the parabolic SAR on the daily chart, ended back up in the cloud, but hey, progress from this little mess right here. So what you can do is if you use this, the 10 year note for your charting purposes, in other words, you're going to have the full Ichimoku cloud, parabolic SAR, et cetera, et cetera. All you need to know for the micros, the micro yield is that they go in the opposite direction. So if this thing is working its way higher, then the 10 year micro yield will be working its way lower. Moving on to the metal. Dang. <laughs> All right. Gold woke up. It's having a party today. We'll take today's high as the next target. And wow. Okay. We'll go there. And obviously next one up would be 2171 at this tall spike right here. We can, let's see what we want to do. I'm going to leave all of that there as our support. It is above the cloud, so a fresh long for those of you that play it that way. That's a just a solid day. 37. Whoo, and a range of 50. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Silver. Uh, this is the big silver contract and the that was the big gold contract the reason that i use those is that we can look at the overall contract and not have to worry about the month but you could always trade micro gold and micro silver micro silver is sil we almost made it to target two we definitely cruised through target one today so again congrats to those of you who were long on that one and I'm just going to clean this up slightly. I'm going to move that there and I'm going to move this one up to here and call that good for silver. Still below the cloud though. It's got a little work to do if it wants to get itself up and actually going somewhere. It's kind of just been, you know, chopping around ever since it came down below the cloud back here. Wrapping up the metals with micro copper. And this this one just looks sort of messy, quite honestly. Uh, let's go to here and there. As for the low, we did take out that target though. So if you happen to be short, congrats. And then this one, I like that. That's a nice little come down and bounce. Finally, the micro crude oil. Also looks like it had a pretty solid day. It did pull back quite a bit though. So let's use this as target one for next week. And let's scooch this in, see where else we have. Like that one. Actually, let me pull this down, grab a couple more of those wicks right in there. The more wicks you have in there, the stronger that is. I'm going to scooch this up just a bit to match up with this kind of bounce down here. And that one can stay down there. So that is your micro dose and your daily rage video. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Get some rest. Get some recovery. Let your mind relax away from trading. <laughs> Come back Monday to hit it hard once again. I'm Mindy Kinnis. Thanks so much for watching.